today, AMD's next gen gets up to 96 cores. Intel's adding something incredible, don't do this Nvidia, and AMD confirms something huge for RX 7000 and RTX 4000 GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, the specs for AMD's next-gen Epic Genoa CPUs have just leaked out, and they're set to be a huge jump over their current generation. Now, we know that the Genoa lineup will be released in Q4 of this year, and that they're going to be pretty powerful, but now we actually have the specs. The story was originally leaked by this user on Twitter, and later reported by video cards. And when we look, we first see that the Zen 4-based Epic series will require a new socket called SP5. So current gen Milan owners will require a new board. What's wild is that the new socket gives a much higher power envelope of up to 700 watts, and that's likely due to the much higher core count of AMD's next gen. That's right, AMD is moving all the way up to a whopping 96 cores and 192 threads. As you can see here, it's the Epic 9654P, and it comes with a frequency of up to 2.15 GHz, as well as a TDP of 360 watts. As for the rest of the series, Genoa will go down the line with 64 core parts, 32, 24, and even down to 16. All in all, I'd say Intel has a lot to worry about when it comes to AMD in the server market. We've already seen a recent story that shows AMD is expected to take quite a bit of market share from Intel, but with numbers like this, I'd be surprised if AMD doesn't do even better. Now, if you're like me, and you really want to up your skill level, whether it's your job, a hobby, or just about anything, there's one place that has it all, Skillshare. And they've sponsored today's video so I can tell you all about it. See, Skillshare isn't just another online tutorial. It's this huge online learning community that's dedicated to teaching you at your own pace and the best way possible. Take this class on Blender, the 3D graphics software. Here, the teacher guides you through the basics of the program, like navigating the viewport to layouts, the toolbar, etc. If we look at this tab, he offers resources like sample projects. There's even a place to discuss the course and ask questions. And there's thousands of amazing courses for pretty much anything you'd want to do. And that's no matter your skill level. To top it all off, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of my viewers who visit my link in the description a month of Skillshare for free. So there's no reason to wait. Start learning your new skill by clicking the link in the description below. Next up for today, we have a really interesting report on Intel's 14th Gen Meteor Lake CPUs. The story comes from Igor's lab, who shares a diagram of Intel's 14th Gen mobile chips. Now, while these are mobile parts, they give us some huge implications that could come to desktop as well. For one, it looks like the P and H series parts will get up to 14 cores, with the U series getting up to 12 cores. Now, the big news is right here. As you can see, Intel actually lists three different types of cores. The Performance Core, Efficiency Core, and then a new LPE Core. Likely made to be an ultra-low power core, similar to ARM's architecture which also has three cores. According to leaker one Raichu on Twitter, there are only two LPE cores, and they're on the SoC instead of the Compute tile. And that could explain why it's not listed in that 12 or 14 cores. Either way, it's clear that Intel is going all in on multi-core architectures, and that's not surprising given how popular their 12th gen CPUs are. Of course, this may not come to their desktop parts, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Time, as always, will tell. Next up, I've got some bad news for anyone hoping to pick up one of Nvidia's next-gen GPUs. The story originally comes from Moore's Law is Dead and later by Tech Power Up. And according to this, it looks like Nvidia may be postponing the launch of their next generation of GPUs. Originally, it looks like Nvidia planned a release for October, but according to Moore's Law is Dead, the company could postpone the launch until December. And the reason may not be what you think. They're not having hardware issues or problems with drivers, oh no. According to this, Nvidia is wanting to hold off because the current market is flooded with used RTX 3000 GPUs. And let's be honest, they probably had a lot of orders for more. I mean, no one knew if or when the crypto crash would happen, but it has. And the drastic drop in demand has likely caught both AMD and Nvidia with their pants down. So I'm assuming they want to hold off so they don't have a ton of inventory by the time new cards are released. Still, it sucks 
sucks to hear it because a ton of gamers have been waiting for years at this point to buy a new GPU. And now that prices are finally going down, I'm sure a lot of gamers were planning to just hold out, and this move would obviously make that harder. Hopefully Nvidia doesn't go through with it, but I wouldn't be surprised. And lastly for today, AMD confirmed some huge news for not only their RX 7000 cards, but even Nvidia's RTX 4000. The story comes from an interview by VentureBeat with AMD's senior VP, Sam, this guy. Starting things off, he discusses power efficiency and how AMD has been able to get really high clocks without getting really high voltages. But the first big thing he shared was actually this slide from AMD. As you can see, it claims that power consumption is exploding because demand is outstripping the gains. So AMD is predicting GPU TDP to get over 600 watts even before 2025. Really, it looks like 2023 or so, meaning this could be for next-gen GPUs. So the rumors we've been seeing about extremely high power consumption may be spot on. Later, AMD discusses their Infinity Cache that was released with the RX 6000 series. It was because of that that AMD was able to use regular GDDR6 memory on a very short bus when compared to Nvidia. And it's here where things get really interesting. According to him, Nvidia is planning to follow suit with larger, last-level caches and that also seems to confirm recent rumors about the RTX 4000 series. Of course, it'll be interesting to see how Nvidia's implementation can stack up. Finally, AMD further confirms the jump into chiplet designs, even pointing to Intel going all in on chiplets with their Ponte Vecchio GPU. At the end of the day, rumors for Nvidia and AMD's next-gen GPUs are looking more and more accurate. Unfortunately, that means most of us will likely need new PSUs. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for next-gen GPUs? Or are you just bummed that Nvidia could actually postpone theirs? And make sure to check out Skillshare in the description below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!